I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game that we say Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Thursday, September 3rd, 2025. We've got a small earthquake swarm that's been going on for about two to three days there in the Sharp Park area of Pacifica, California. And this is an area where the San Andreas Fault, which is drawn out in red, it's actually much wider than what I got drawn, it's locked. And this earthquake swarm could be an indication of something larger coming. Or it could just be a sign that stress has built up. There is a 10% chance um, that it could be a foreshock for something much larger. That could come a month later. I used to live down in this area. I had a small house that I rented years and years ago with my boyfriend. Let me bring this out. And what caught my eye originally before I discovered this recent swarm was that there was three earthquakes along the St. Andrews Fault. You can see that one right there, which is a 1.4 uh, near the San Francisco Zoo. This one here, let me bring this down, which was where the swarm's going on, Pacifica. And then this other one, it's a 1.7. Swarms rarely precede a large earthquake. Most are benign, and it's a sign that the fault zone there is trying to release energy. Um, it's trying to adjust itself. Yeah, and this is an area where the St. Andreas Fault is locked. Okay, so it's built up a lot of tension. Um, many of you may have felt the earthquakes that occurred on September 30th. There was two small earthquakes. A magnitude 2.4 and a 2.1 and it occurred in this area and many of you may have seen my report where in September a magnitude 4.3 struck uh, Berkeley California on September 22nd and that was along the Hayward Fault which is also a branch of the St. Andreas Fault system this 2.4 which occurred on the 30th you can see the moment tensor ball and it's caused because of the Pacific Plate uh, moving uh, east underneath the North American Plate. And you can see that tension was applied going east. And the fault um, basically just rose up. Um, more mountain building, more hill building, etc. Yeah, creating more stress. So in the last two to three days, there's been 19 earthquakes within just this location. And they're all kind of shallow, about 5.3 miles in depth, 5.4, uh, yeah, not quite 6 miles in depth. This one here is shallower, 4.7 miles in depth. They're all about the same depth. And they're all small, uh, basically most of them are all small, except for the recent two, which was the 2.4 and the 2.1. Now that one, yeah, both of those were on the 30th. Now there is a live webcam. There is a fellow there in Pacifica um, that has several cameras on the top of his roof where you can go and watch here on YouTube. Just type in Pacifica live webcam and you can watch it. I used to go to school. This is where I went to high school in Pacifica. I graduated in 1973 and got my first apartment. Um, oh, it was probably about a half a block from the beach. Um, the man with the camera is right along here. Um, he's got a view of the pier that he shows. But my first apartment, talking about inflation, was only $150 a month. It was a two-bedroom apartment. I was on the top floor. It was a two-story apartment building with a skylight. At night, you know, if it, when it was raining, it sounded like people clapping as the uh, rain hit the uh, top of the gravel roof. But yeah, uh, $2,000 was the last I heard that apartment was going for. 
but I only had to pay $150 a month. That was it. Another thing that's very concerning is um, here in Pacifica, the fire department, I do have it marked. When they built the fire department, um, it was built right on top of a fault line. Right there. There it is. They didn't realize that it was on um, on a fault line when they built it. So if there is a large earthquake in this location, unless the doors are open, yeah, they won't be able to get emergency services out and to rescue people. So you need to be prepared. Uh, you need to have a bug out kit. You need to have, uh, yeah, hopefully your home's retrofitted if you own your own homes. You need to have bookcases, anything large, bolted to the walls. You need to have um, a shutoff tool for your gas and hot water heaters. Um, actually, for the whole thing coming into your house. The tool to shut off the water and the gas. In your bug out bag, have um, hiking shoes because of debris that could be in the road. A whistle. So if you're trapped, you can blow it for help if you don't have the strength to shout out. I'm not saying they're going to have a large earthquake in this location, but it should be a wake up call to be prepared just in case it does happen. Yeah, we'll go back down to that earthquake swarm. Should be a wake up call. Yeah, look at all those earthquakes. A large one could create a tsunami. It would create uh, probably landslides. Uh, these are some steep hills here. Um, the one over here by uh, the high school. I used to walk over the mountain to go to school every day. It was actually easier. To go from uh, my home and just climb over the mountain to school, then go all the way down and yeah, come up the highway um, or along the foothills. I remember one time uh, going home after school, and there was an earthquake, and the mountain just groaned. Uh, these hills here um, are old bunkers from World War II, and yeah, I could tell some stories about that. Uh, the bunker door is now welded shut. Uh, but one of my acquaintances, when I was in high school, uh, broke into the bunker. And he stole a bunch of drugs and um, army supplies. And that was the last time we ever saw him. Yeah, the um, feds came and took him away. He described pinball machines and... Uh, um, beds and all kinds of facilities that were in there at that time. I don't know if the uh, supplies are still there in the mountain or not, but they were at the time back in 1973. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's a very steep mountain. Boy, climbing over that every day got you in shape. They have the back of the school terrace um, for rain and slides. But if there was a large quake, yeah, you would probably have some slides coming down, um, you know, off the hill. Um, hopefully all the students would be okay. But, um, yeah, it's something else to think about. Yeah, it should be a wake-up call. 10% chance within 30 days for a large earthquake. Um, yeah, please be prepared. I'm not saying there's going to be a large earthquake. But, yeah, this is unusual, and it is an area where the fault is locked, so it has built up stress. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.